everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas series. And in today's video, we are going to be making some treat boxes using the pillow box die set from the Stamps of Life. I just love how these turned out. Here is one just using the pillow box just the standard way with the sides folded. This one again with the sides folded, but you can see how I used a piece of acetate and cut a Christmas um, ornament out of the front and you can see the little treats inside. This one is an example of using it as just a little handle box and putting some larger treats inside. And you can use your stamps, your dies, anything you have to decorate these. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So first I wanna show you what this die entails. So this is the exclusive pillow box die from the Stamps of Life, and you have this large die that makes your actual pillow box. And then you have a couple of these dies. You have some layering pieces. Here's a stitched layering piece. This one says a gift for you. Happy birthday to you. This is a slider die. And then this particular die is just a decorative border that you can add to your box. Okay. This die is very versatile that you can use it for any occasion, especially a birthday, or in this case, if it's a holiday gift, you can just use an, a, gift, a gift for you, the sentiment, or you can put your own sentiment on there. If you have some Christmas or some season's greetings or some happy holiday sentiments that you want to include, you you can not use these dies and you can just use your own. So for this first box that we are gonna create, I am going to be using this piece of pattern paper because I wanna use the pine cone set from the Stamps of Life. And I thought that this paper would work perfectly with that set. Now, in case you happen to have this pattern paper, it is the Just Because collection, but I will say that it is sold out on the Stamps of Life website. So some of you might have it in your collection already, and that's the collection that I'm using. Now these dies fit perfectly on the Stamps of Life pattern paper. So you can see that once you die cut that, you're not gonna really have any scraps left over so all these little pieces here are just going to be garbage so I'm gonna go ahead and place that down on my pattern paper and I'm gonna hold some washi tape down and this is gonna make the shape of my box so when that comes out of the die cut machine just remove your washi tape and your die and here is your box now there are some score lines on here so you have a score line going down the middle, which you can fold. There's also one here on the side, which you will fold. And then there are some score lines here on the sides, which that's how you're gonna tuck your sides in on the left and right. So to connect this box or to put it together, you can either use a piece of double-sided tape here and then fold that down, or I am going to be using glue and I'm going to apply some glue on this entire flap and then hold that piece down. We'll put glue there, bring this down, and then close that. And that is how we close our box. Now the sides, again, there are some score lines here. So you would just fold along those score lines. And that's one side, and then you would do the same to the other side. And there is your cute little pillow box. Isn't that adorable? But before we close that, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I want to lay this flat because I want to do some decorating. We are also going to die cut two of these small pine cones from the pine cones to stamp dies. And with the layering piece, I put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back side of the chocolate cardstock. So I just need to get it out of my die. There we go. And then just make sure that all these little pieces of the pine cone, the insides are out, and then we will adhere it to the shadow layer. And the shadow layer was die cut out of the ginger snap cardstock. So we're gonna adhere that. So that's a complete sticker, so it will stick on perfectly. And now we have two of the small pine cones. We also will need to take the small leaf die and die cut three leaves out of the artichoke cardstock. And I'm also going to take my artichoke ink from the Stamps of Life 
and I'm going to just put some ink on the edges of these just to add some dimension. I also took the Seasons Greetings die, which also came with that die set, and I die cut the shadow layer out of powdered sugar cardstock and the words out of the cranberry cardstock. And I did put double-sided adhesive on the back side of the season's greetings before running it through my die cut machine just to make it easier to adhere. Next, we're gonna go ahead and arrange all of this where we want it to go. So I'm just gonna hold this down with a list an acrylic block so that kind of stays in place. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere my leaves first. And you have to make sure that your sentiment is positioned immediately to the left of the score line because you don't want it going past the score line or it's gonna end up going over top past your box, past the edge of your box, okay? So let's go ahead and remove these pine cones. And I'm just going to put some glue on the edges of the bottom of these leaves. I don't want to adhere them completely flat because I want them to have some dimension. So we'll do the same thing to the leaf that's gonna go in the middle. And the reason why I'm hearing these first is because you can see that they are being tucked underneath the sentiment. These pine cones are going to be flat. So I'm gonna put glue over the whole back side. Okay, and now I'm ready to add my season's greetings. That's gonna have glue all over the whole back side as well. And again, just make sure that you're not coming past that score line and that it is centered. And I die cut some cranberry cardstock and it gives me these three little circles. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue on the back and I'm gonna tuck that right inside of there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. It actually gives you three little circles, but I'm just gonna use two. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter, make it look almost like there's snow on these pine cones. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue on the leaves as well. And then I'm gonna take some glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. And then I'm gonna shake that off. And look how pretty that is. It just adds so much more dimension. Isn't that gorgeous? So make sure you let that dry, and I did let mine dry for a little while, so it is dry now. So now I'm just gonna fold in my sides, and now I have my pillow box. Isn't that cute? I just love that. So with this box, you can stick some treats. Here's just some little Brock's Marshmallow Santas, and I can stick two of those in there and close that up. Isn't that adorable? You can also use this box, these little hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. Those will fit perfectly right inside of there, and that will close up perfectly as well. These boxes will also fit a gift card inside, and it will close perfectly. So any little treats or small trinkets, you can use these boxes for. For my next pillow box design, I'm gonna be using paper from the Woohoo collection. Now again, this is sold out, but some of you may already have this in your stash. Or if you don't, you can always find another paper very similar. And I'm gonna go ahead and die cut my pillow box using my pillow box die. So just fold along the long score lines just as I'm doing and go ahead and glue this shut. So remember to glue it shut, you're going to put glue on this flap here. Make sure you're using a strong glue. I'm using the art glitter glue for this. And then just press that down. So it's the same process so far as the previous pillow box, only this one is gonna be look a little different because we're actually gonna turn this pillow box into one that has a handle on it. So next what we're going to do is we are going to flip our pillow box over so that the side with the notch is facing up. We wanna be looking at that side. And we're gonna turn this pillow box into a pillow box that has a little handle at the top by using an oval die. And the oval die that I have here is just a stitched oval die from the Stamps of Life. And I'm going to be using that die 
to cut out an oval for my handle. So when you're doing this, you want to, number one, be looking at the side that has the notch because that's gonna tell you how far down you need to put your die. Because you don't wanna obviously put that die too far up over that notch because then you're gonna be cutting through that and your handle will not be a complete handle. You also wanna be looking at the side that has the notch and not this side, because if you put it on this side, you won't know how far up or down to put your oval, okay? So make sure you're looking at the side with the notch. Place your oval so that you have equal space on the left as you do on the right, so you wanna make sure it's centered. And then you wanna make sure that you have a little bit of space there above the die so there's plenty of cardstock above it and it's going to be over this score line. So that's where you're going to be cutting into your cardstock. So just take a piece of washi tape once you have it where you want it. Just put some washi tape down and run that through your die cut Out machine. Out of the die cut machine, just remove the die and just be careful peeling back your washi tape. And then you have your box with a handle. Isn't that cute? So now see so you can hold, hold it onto it. Now the front of my box is actually going to be the reverse side. So you can see that the little notch is there. I'm not worried about that notch, but I don't want it showing when I'm looking at the front of the box. So I'm gonna turn it over and this is the part that I'm going to decorate. To decorate this box, I'm gonna be using the cute little penguin from the Penguins to Stamp stamp set from the Stamps of Life. It's this penguin here. Now, I've shown this penguin in some videos before and I've showed the coloring. I will link down below if you wanna see how I colored this cute little guy up. You can go take a look at that video. Um, but I've already colored this. I already had this in my stash, so I figured I might as well use it rather than stamping and coloring a new one. So that's what I'm gonna do. And and I'm bringing in some scalloped circles. So I die cut, um, actually I used a bigger die than that one, this one. So this is the scalloped circle die set from the Stamps of Life. I have a green apple circle and then I have a strawberry circle. So that's the cardstock colors. And those will be layered on. So I guess I can go ahead and do that now. Let me just layer these on top of each other. So I'm just gonna glue the red one to the top of the green one. Okay, so that's set. I also have cut out of a piece of pattern paper. This is from the same paper pad. This is a little banner, and this banner comes with the same set. It's actually the dies though. So there is a stamp in the stamp set and then there's the word joy that you can stamp on it, if you can see that. And then I'm gonna be using the banner die just to cut out a piece of pattern paper, which I've already done. And then I will be using the word joy and stamping that directly on top of that banner. So there's my word joy. And then I have the shadow layer that I cut out of some strawberry cardstock. And I'm just going to adhere these two pieces together. So I'm gonna put some glue. I should have probably had double-sided adhesive on the back of this before running this through my die cut machine, but I did not. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and add that to the shadow layer. Okay, and then I previously colored up a little hat. This is also part of that same stamp set, which I figured I would go ahead and use that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere these pieces to our pillow box. So first I'm gonna just lay everything out. Now when you are adhering it, I suggest just make sure it's flat like this. So don't have these pushed in, um, so just make sure it's flat. But when you're adhering your stuff to your pillow box, just make sure that you're always adhering above the score line because these score lines are gonna be folded in. So remember the handle is the top and then this part is the bottom and then this scalloped circle will fit perfectly on there. And I'm gonna have the word joy just right here at the top. And then my cute little guy is going to be right there on the circle. And I think that'll be really, really cute. 
Okay, so that's how it's gonna look, and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere everything down. So we'll start with the scallops. That needs to go first. So just press that down really, really well, because remember, once this box is actually, these bottoms are folded in, this box is gonna have some more dimension to it. We wanna make sure that this is pressed down really well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Joy. And if you want, you can even pop him up. Instead of laying him flat, just pop him up and you can do that as well. I'm gonna do that just to add some more dimension to this little guy. So I'm, I have some um, foam mounting tape here and I'm just going to cut off some pieces, attach it to the back of this penguin. Now, one thing that I'm gonna have to do is adhere his hat with glue, and then we'll put some foam behind his hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little hat, and it's gonna actually go right at the top here. So I think what we'll do is we'll put some glue just right along the bottom of that hat, and then put that on his head. That'll be so cute. And then we'll go ahead and stick a piece of foam over top of the penguin and the hat. And a little piece is coming off the edge, so I am just going to cut that off and then peel this back and add this to my pillow box. Isn't that adorable? Look how cute that is. I love that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and push these in. Push these bottom, push the bottom in fold it under make sure everything has dried really well before doing this okay look at that now it's just a little handle box instead of a pillow box so next I have some ribbon this is just some cute ribbon Christmassy ribbon that I picked up at my local craft store I'm gonna layer it together and then I'm just gonna tie it around the left side so I'm just going to bring it through the handle, tie it, and then just tie it one more time. And the reason I'm putting it on the left is because I'm trying to balance it out. I've already got something here on the right, the word joy. So now I'm just going to trim off. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then you can stick your stuff, your, your loot in there. So I've got these candy canes and these candy canes match perfectly look how cute that is they match perfectly with this whole design that i've got going on so isn't that adorable that is so cute to give to a child or just to give to a anybody a co-worker anybody just as a little i'm thinking of you during the holidays for my next pillow box design, I am going to be cutting a little window out of the front so that you can see the goodies on the inside. So I'm gonna start out, this pillow box is going to be cut out of, this is almost like a metallic, it's a smooth metallic red. It's a really pretty, pretty Christmassy um, color. And I am going to cut my pillow box out of that. Next, I'm going to take a die. This is an ornament die from the Stamps of Life. I actually got this die free with my October Card Kit Club shipment because throughout the year of 2020, the Stamps of Life was throwing in two, three dies for every Card Kit Club. So I really love these dies. These are some ornament dies. They also have these for sale on their website. And I will link all of these products down below. So I want my little window in my pillow box to be shaped like an ornament. Now, if you wanted to, let's say you were creating this just for a birthday or any other occasion, this pillow box also has this layering die, which you can do the same thing. You can actually put that here, die cut it out to cut a window in your pillow box. So it could really be any shape that you want. So, you know, whatever shape dies that you have, if you wanted to do it as a heart for Valentine's Day and you have a heart die, you can do that. But since this is Christmas, I'm gonna use an ornament die and I'm just going to center it. So notice the 
the way I have my pillow box set up, this is the flap that I'm gonna put glue on. So that's to the left. My ornament is gonna be um, up and down. So my pillow box, it's actually gonna be the same um, orientation as this particular pillow box. So it'll be vertical rather than horizontal. So I'm gonna place that here and then I'm going to put some washi tape on that and run that through my die cut machine. So when this comes out of the die cut machine, just remove your die and your washi tape. Now this you can actually save. You can actually use that as a die cut on a card and it's cut out of that beautiful metallic paper. So there's my opening, isn't that cute? So I'm gonna put little candies in here and you'll be able to see them right through, but we'll have to put some acetate. So you definitely will need some acetate. If you don't have acetate, you can use the um, clear bag that comes on your stamps and dies because that will work too. Now, before we go any further, I don't wanna glue, I don't wanna start gluing any of this down yet because I wanna finish working with the front of this. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to use this little ornament. It's the topper for the ornament, and this came in the same die set. And I have a, just a scrap piece of gold foil paper, and I'm gonna die cut that. Here's what that looks like when it's die cut, and that's gonna go right at the top. But before I adhere that, I'm gonna do a, something else to this. I want to put a little outline around this ornament just to make it stand out a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same die that I cut, this is the shadow layer that I cut that ornament out of, and then with that die set also includes a layering piece. So if I take both of these dies and layer them together, it's gonna to give me a nice outline that I can actually put right on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut that also out of some foil paper. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and just cut this down to size. I don't wanna waste any of it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to add some tape to the back of this, some double-sided adhesive tape, because when this comes out of the die cut machine, it's gonna be very intricate. So the actual outline will be very small and it'll be hard to put double-sided adhesive on the back of that after the fact. So I have my double-sided adhesive. Now I'm going to put my shadow layer down. So there's my shadow die and then I'm going to put the layering piece right in the middle. Now you want to make sure that when you're doing this that your pieces, your, your inside piece is spaced perfectly on all sides. So all around the outside of that inside piece, you can see the same amount of gold foil paper showing underneath, okay? You don't want it pressed all the way against one edge because then the other side will have more cardstock than, than the um, left. So you just wanna make sure that it's spaced evenly all around and then run this through your die cut machine. So when that comes out of the die cut machine, just remove your tape, okay? This piece we don't need. So now we're gonna remove these dies and let's see what we have left. Look at that. So we actually have a nice die cut piece that we can use. So let's see, are these the same set? No, nope, look at that. We can actually layer those on just like that and we can have a die cut for another card. Isn't that great? So two, two out of one, but this is what we're going for. We're going for this piece right here. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just set this aside really quick so I'm actually gonna just put that double-sided adhesive backing, just flip that over, because what I need to do is I need to quickly add some acetate to this. So you're gonna need to get some acetate and you're gonna flip this over and the acetate is actually going to cover up that piece. So you only need a piece of acetate that's as big as your hole. So whatever dye that you're using, you just need a piece of acetate that is as big as that. So you can glue this down, you can tape this down. Nobody's going to see the inside, so it really doesn't matter how you go about this. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue just definitely along the outside edge just to make sure it definitely stays in place just along the edge of that ornament. See that? And then depending on how big your acetate is, you can just go through here and just add some more glue 
just to make sure all of this stays down. Okay, so press that down. Now, you might want to hold that on there, maybe with an acrylic block, till that dries a little bit more. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry just a few minutes and then I'll come back and then I'll finish off the front. So now that that is dry, I can turn that over and I can go ahead and add my outline that I die cut. And that's gonna go right on the inside of the cardstock. So it's actually going to be adhered down to the acetate isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous with the outline? I love that. If you that. wanna go ahead and fold this up and glue this together, you can. It was just important that you did not glue this until the acetate was on because you wouldn't have been able to get that acetate in there if it was folded up. So if you wanna do that, you can do that now. Otherwise, you can continue to decorate this. Just be mindful of the score lines because you don't wanna glue anything past those score lines. So work within the score line, the frame of the score lines. So I went ahead and die cut out of this pearl. It's a Kiwi Pearl paper from the Stamps of Life and I used my pine cone dies, the smallest leaf die. I die cut four of them and I'm going to add those here to the top of my ornament. And basically, just so you can get an idea how this is going to look. Now, some of these leaves will be extending off the sides, but that's okay, because they're just leaves. It's not like I need to glue the entire thing down, and I'm not going to glue the entire thing down, because I want them to look like they are um, leaves and have some dimension. So that little topper is going to go right over top of that and the leaves will be extending past it. So I'm going to go ahead and start adhering this down. So I'm only going to be putting glue just like with that first pillow box that I made. I'm just going to be putting glue along the bottom. That way the top part of these leaves are kind of flowing, kind of like flowing in the air. Okay, so we'll start out with some on the ends. All right, and there's another one. So we'll push those down. And then these will go on the, in the middle. And then this little topper is gonna go right on top of that. So we'll go ahead and glue this to, actually this already has double-sided adhesive tape on the back. So we'll peel that up and then just press that down. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. I'm gonna take the word peace. This came from the card kit, from the October card kit from the Stamps of Life. I'm gonna die cut that out of the gold foil with double-sided adhesive on the back. And then I am going to add that directly below my ornament, making sure it's above that score line. Okay, and that is complete. So now I'm just going to fold these in and I'm ready to adhere this with glue. So I'm going to add some glue to this flap and then close this. And since this paper is much thicker than regular cardstock, I am gonna just hold an acrylic block on there. Just I have two blocks and I'm just gonna let that sit for just a minute to make sure that is completely dry before I start stuffing this with goodies. Now I'm ready to tuck under the bottom. So I'm going to fold under at the score lines and then fold the other flap and now the bottom is shut. And now I can put some goodies in here. So I have these festive little Dove chocolates that I'm just gonna slide in there. I thought that these colors worked perfectly with this, with this idea. Isn't that cute? And those little Dove chocolates, those fit side by side in there perfectly. So you can have two layers in there. And that is just these Dove dark chocolate peppermint bark little squares. So now I'm just gonna fold this top in right on that score line and then fold this part down and look how cute that is. So now these leaves, they are going off, but that's perfectly fine. Isn't that beautiful? I think that is just stunning. I love that. So again, you can take any shape that you want if you wanted to have something see-through like this and you can 
do that as long as you have acetate. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, so pretty. So once so again, nice. this is another little gift idea. If you need to have a quick gift for someone for the holidays, you can use the pillow box die and stuff it with some fun treats and three different ways of using it. So again, here's the traditional way just by using your dies or you can use your stamps. Here is with cutting a hole in the middle and putting acetate and having a see-through box. And here's just making the box with like a little handle if you have something a little bit larger that you want to go in it. And I think that turned out super cute. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.